Did you know that only 47% of the population in Sri Lanka has access to safely managed drinking water? Today is World Food Day and this year's theme focuses on water as the foundation of food and life on earth. In Sri Lanka, 87.34% of fresh water is used for agriculture. Here's what an expert from FAO had to share about the role of safe water in agriculture, food production and food safety. Some farmers use chemicals, fertilizer, overdoses and because of that the groundwater has been polluted so that it will not be healthy for people to consume. Even the food that is produced with unsafe water is also called unsafe food. But at the same time, lack of extension service, lack of knowledge, lack of awareness, and also some of the infrastructure facilities, they are outdated. So those also would have negative impacts on ensuring how farmers get good quality water. Tools such as GAP, that is Good Agricultural Practices, and IPNM, that is Integrated Plant Nutrient Management, have been some of the key that everyone had been using. Even FAO right now is in the process of promoting these tools because it has a lot of benefits, not only just enhance the agricultural productivity, but also to improve the quality of water, quality of soil, and also to avoid soil erosion, and also to improve the nutrient content of the soil. According to the annual health bulletin published by the Ministry of Health in 2020, a concerning 26% of food and water analysed were contaminated by harmful clinical and microbial contaminants. Let's hear from a public health expert about how safe water contributes to safe food. This is one area we as Sri Lankans, we don't put much emphasis on safety of the food which we eat. The food, the food itself and the water which plays a major role in preparation of food, these both components are very important for the safety of the food which we consume. When your food is not safe, maybe due to the food itself or maybe due to the water which was associated with the food preparation or the food manufacture or the agriculture, our health will be in a difficult position. There will be several diseases. In fact, there are more than 200 diseases which are due to unsafe water and unsafe food. The issue arises when the consumer, they don't start questioning or they, when they start inquiring about the safety of the water which they consume outside the households. If each one of us start doing this, inquiring, checking, if the water source which we are consuming is safe, we would be in a better position in years to come. The Ministry of Health, Ministry of Agriculture and development partners like Food and Agriculture Organization working on updating and revising the current food act. When it says food, your attention goes to food. But the new developments, the new edition, new food act will put equal emphasis on water safety as well. So I believe at the policy level, at the legal component level, the water safety has to be addressed with equal importance to the food safety. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, together with the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, via BESPA Food Project, funded by the European Union, is supporting the government of Sri Lanka, improve standards, capacity, regulatory landscape and consumer awareness on food safety.